In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. Holy Innocence, pray for us. And let's keep praying for Pope Benedict. If it's his time, then let's hope that he can go straight to heaven for all of his many sacrifices. There is a saying about this TV show, I don't know if this sounds horrible, but if they don't find you handsome, at least they find you handy. I think that was off the Red Green show. It's like a Canadian-based show. But it's kind of true with us now and where we're at in this time and era that we just have to work with our hands. If we're not working with our hands, believe me, there's nothing outside these doors anymore that's going to save us, especially in the Catholic Church. It's just so corrupted. And even in my own industry, the music industry, it's just so corrupted. In our own families, we can see the corruption. It's just so everywhere. And we just have to keep working with our hands. They don't really give you the full story. They won't sit down with you and really teach you. It's kind of a rush, rush job. So a lot of the time I had to rely on St. Joseph and the Blessed Mother and our Lord himself, my guardian angels, the angels of the saints, St. Cecilia, to teach me how to play this thing. And a lot of it is just putting in the time, you know. It's like being in jail. you got to put in the time, you know. <laughs> the priests how they get corrupted in the hierarchy of the church you can really as a musician get so corrupted in the hierarchy of these orchestras that i just say wait till it all clears out wait till god purifies the orchestras and then you can play orchestra all day and night i mean god can do anything like i've said before i pray that i can be in the celestial orchestra in heaven and play for jesus the rest of my life without any pain that'd be so wonderful and uh you know and how is that difficult just playing in my room for the, you know, whatever next hour of my life, a long life really is, you know? Because the violin is really for praising the Lord. It's not for personal gain. And that's just like the priesthood. The priesthood is for praising the Lord. It's not for personal gain. That's why when priests get canceled, they need to start praising the Lord. Because their life is really a continual praising of the Lord. It's not for personal gain. And they can't say that they weren't drug into that. Because if you touch pitch, you will be defiled by it. And no one can it says you will be, not you might be, you know. Those who have fellowship with the proud will put on pride. And I'm not exempt from that. I've struggled with that so much with the church that 
You know, oftentimes, sometimes I struggle with even wanting to show up to Mass. And that's a terrible thing. Or I want to hide in the corner or something just so I'm not affected by these people who are going to church for the completely wrong reasons. And that's how toxic the church has become. But don't worry. God will close the churches. He'll purify everything. We just have to have patience. That's all God really asks of us is patience and that simple, humble yes to the Lord and doing really what he wants you to do. And not worrying about what society says. I mean, who cares if a cancel priest goes and works on a cruise ship? Who cares? Who cares? You got to get way and get rid of this um, popularity contest mentality that we've accumulated, especially in America. You know. <laughs> they were when they had their shining moment as a priest and that's just totally wrong you can't compete with yourself you just have to do what god asks you to do and most of the time he's asking you to do the humble little things he's not asking you to be rich and famous he's asking you to do his will he's not even asking you to be successful at it like saint mother Teresa calcutta says she's just trying to be faithful day by day to the lord that I cannot do great things. I can just do little tiny things, but with great love. Like, in Post Falls, if you can just walk down the Post Falls Music Academy, tell them you want a classical education, none of this rock music, and dress appropriately, you know, wear sleeves, and if you're a girl, wear a long skirt, you know, and have them teach you, and be patient with them, and pray for them, and for your students, but if you need some extra education as a child, you know, just don't do the pop, rock, music, TV, movie, theme song singing, and don't go to the greatest, go to the little guys. Or if you're shy, just play, you know, play with me. Just try to play and learn at home, you know. I'm still learning. I'm like a little kid.
say it's the man who needs to be in the orchestra. It's the men, not the women. It's the men that run the orchestra, not the girls. The girls are to play at home and to teach the children. <laughs> is their work. You can learn a lot. Just ask the farmer if he learns about God through the work of his hands. He will tell you assuredly, yes. If you use, you know, you have to use it in a godly way. You can't pervert it, you know. Thank you. 